So let's talk about incline plane. Now I have a very interesting question, which is saying a box of 17 kg rests on a smooth body 10 meters long when one end of the board is raised to a height of 6 meters above the other end. The box rises all the way to the other end. But part one, what is the acceleration of the box? Part two, how long does it take to slide down if it was moving at an initial velocity of 9.2 meters per second? Okay, now, one thing we have to understand from this question is you have got a board which is 10 meters. Then on top of the board, there is a box of um, 17 cages. So let's have our board here. So here is our board, and on top of this, there is a box. And we've been told that this box is 17 cages. So if you are raising at one end, okay, meaning you are forming an incline, what is happening here is, this is what is going to happen. So it's going to be raised. So it has been raised with a velocity of, it has been, it has been raised with a velocity of uh, the height is now 6 okay 6 meters it has been raised the height of 6 meters and we've been told that the the length of the board so this is now the surface the length of the board is from this point all the way to that point is 10 meters okay I'll put it there so the board is here 17 kgs. So now it is an. Uh, we know that when we're talking about incline plane, there is always Fg which tries to bring the object down. One thing we have to understand here is that eh, the normal force, we're going to have the normal force which is acting perpendicular to the surface, which is here. That's the normal force. Then we also have the weight force which is. Eh, is going to be in that direction but this weight force has to support this guy so we expect to have the angle which you have there is the same as the angle which is going to be formed there so here I'm going to have mg according to Sokatoa this is the opposite of the angle so it's going to be the weight force is mg so this is basically mg so it's mg sine theta then this is mg then this is mg cos phi cos theta like that so now what is happening here guys is simple we want to find the acceleration of the box and we know that we can use the formula which is the summation of all the forces in this case the only force which is acting to bring the block down is the Fg so I'm going to say Fg but here we can clearly see that the Fg is going in the same direction with mg sin phi sin phi so we we'll say the Fg on an incline is given by mg sin phi then now the normal force is in the same line with mg cos theta so we also say the normal force is mg cos theta so in most cases these are the most important things under incline the normal force is given by mg cos theta and the fg the force of gravity is given by mg sin theta now what's happening here is according to Newton's second law we replace this with mass times acceleration so it's going to be ma is equal to the fg is mg sine theta mg sine theta now since we we can see that we have got mass both sides we can cancel the mass we we'll move with a to be g sine theta we don't have the angle okay but if we want we can find the angle that is if we want but we know that this angle here for us to find this angle we are going to use sokato so i'm going to use sine theta so sin theta will be equal to the opposite is 6, hypotenuse is what? Is 10. That is the distance. Now it's the same as where the sin theta, I replace it with 6 over 10. So I'll say A will be equal to G is 9.8. Then sin theta is 6 over 10. So if I get, what will be the answer there? 6 divided by 10 times 9.8. So the acceleration is 5.88 meters per second squared. As simple as that. The question continues. This is part two. How long does it take to slide down 
if it was moving at an initial velocity of 9.2 meters per second. So here, I think the best thing, since we have the displacement, the best thing to do is we need first to find the final, we need to find the final speed. What do I mean? I have this formula, the third equation, V final is equal to V initial plus AT, but I don't have the final velocity. But since I've got the displacement which is 10, I can go ahead and find the distance using the third equation. So let's put our acceleration here. I'll just leave it there. Or we can shift it. We put it here. I'll put the acceleration there. Now using the third equation, which is the V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus 2AD. Now, do we have acceleration? Yes, we have acceleration. D we have. We don't have the final velocity. Our goal is to find the final velocity. So the final velocity will be the V initial we have been told that is 9.2. We square it plus 2. Acceleration is 5.88. The distance is 10. Because it was 10 meters there. So the V final will be equal to I'll have um, 9.2 squared plus open brackets 2 times 5.88 times 10 then I close the brackets so I'm getting this to be 202.24 we get the square root if I get the square root I'm getting 14 14.22 meters per second as my final velocity after finding the final velocity, I'm going to use this formula to find the time. Okay? So I can just get rid of this. I use now this formula to find the time. So there we go. The final velocity is 14.22. The initial velocity is 9.2 plus acceleration 5.88 times t. Shift this to the other side, 14.22 minus 9.2 should be equal to 5.88t. Divide both sides by 5.88, even here by 5.88. These two cancel out. So our t, our t is going to be I'll just put it here. Our time will be equal to. So I have got 14.22 minus 9.2. I'm getting 5.02. I divide this by 5.88. So the answer is 0 0.85. I'll just say. 0.9 seconds so it took about 0.9 seconds for the block to move to the other end so that is it for this one